Hi guys, Liz Laser here, some good old cosplay tips. Today I'm actually trying out a new thing called Redo Wednesday, which is where I'll redo Wednesdays or cosplays or something. Today I'll be doing redoing um, Roxy, and as you can tell I already had my foundation on, can't talk English today. You can do this with Trickster Roxy as well, I'm just doing Roxy. But what you'll need is a lighter foundation than what you have. You'll need some kind of sponge in this format. I don't know what, what it's called. Tell you the truth. I'm very slow. Um, then you'll need your normal foundation, like I said. Now what you need is your makeup box with your lighter powders and eyeshadows or blushes, whatnots. And um, which eyeshadow you'll use is you'll use a light pink and a white. I'd get a darker one than the palette that I have because you need to pop more. Now, um... What you're going to do with the lighter foundation, which I'd put it on your finger, and I wouldn't put too much, just enough to like rub on your face. So what you'll do is you'll put it, you know, once I get it on my face, there it is, you'll put it before that little nose part, like on that bone part of your face, before your cheek. I don't know what it's called, but you put it there, and you'll take it out from that part of your nose, and then to the eyelid, part of your cat eye, I don't know what makeup's called, um, I don't know what the face is called. I'm not in that class right now. So, you know, I'm going to add a song. I don't know what yet. Bye. I'm not sure what happened to my footage, but you'll put the lot of foundation also on your nose and stuff like that. Now what you do is you'll get this highlighter stick thing for foundation. You'll put it on around your lips because it makes your lips make... All the highlighter does, it makes it look less dark. So I put it around my lips. In that weird place on my nose and, you know, around my eyebrows. Again, I don't know what happened to my footage. I went back and I couldn't find it. Sorry this video is being really crappy. Of course you blend it in and blend everything nice and smooth. Yeah. Bye. Everywhere I go, everybody wanna know. Tell me, tell me, tell me, who is she? Stop saying when I hit the floor, they be feeling one more. Stop with shots of the paparazzi. Stop saying everywhere I go, everybody wanna know. Tell me, tell me, tell me, who is she? So my camera cut off and this is what you do. You got your lighter foundation and you put it from that little corner of your lips to the little round part of your nose. And you just, you know, smear it in and make it look all nice and pretty. Now what you'll do is you'll get your lighter foundation. Powder, powders, powders, powders. See, it's powders. What I did originally, what I would do first, to tell you the truth, is I'd get my normal powder and I'd put that on where I'd put the normal foundation and then with the lighter, just put it on the lighter part where you put the foundation. I'm tired, very tired. I want to stop sign. I slow up. I make a stop. So that you mean like a stop sign. So that you mean like a stop sign. When they see me in the Okay, now what you're going to do is, you guys, as you can tell, that makes your cheekbones look a little higher, I guess. What I would do now is I'd start, I'd go with blush. Once I learn how to make proper sentences in English. I would go a brighter blush than what you originally would wear on a normal day. If you wear makeup on a normal day, it, as you can tell, mine's a little lighter. And I'd say Roxy has more brighter and blushy cheeks, naturally. And Roxy probably wears makeup anyways. Oh, no, probably, because I mean, her eyeliner is all fleek all the time. Now they're done with the blush, like I said, my blush is, my blush is actually a little brighter than it could have been. I didn't do it right partially. Um, what am I going to start with now? Oh yeah, eyeshadow. What you're doing now is, originally what I would do is I'd get a white bottom eyeliner, so white pencil is what I'd use. I know Roxy doesn't usually wear bottom eyeliner, but the white makes your eyes pop more, and it looks pretty. So put that on, and then after that, you'll get your white eyeshadow, and you'll put it from your eyelid to your eyebrow, then you get your pink, put it on your outer corner of your eye, and of course wing it all a little bit, not too much. 
I get a darker pink than your lightest. I don't know, get a medium pink. Then get like two shades, like maybe a shade or two darker than that. Um. So yeah, of course you'll blend it and stuff with your makeup. As you can tell, I'm about to get my white. Now I'd use shimmery, but if you don't have shimmery, that's fine too. I just, shimmery is pretty. I like shimmery stuff. to your black eyeliner. Now with Roxy's eyeliner, she does wing it out, and her eyeliner, in my opinion, is really bold, and only top eyeliner. Make it bold, but not like really bold, like I did mine, because mine is like hella bold, and I didn't mean to make it hella bold, I just really suck at top eyeliner, really. I, I don't know why I do eyeliner. <laughs> your bold eyeliner as you can tell mine's a little off go to black mascara make that mascara bold and only top eyelashes if you accidentally hit your bottom that's fine it just whatever <laughs> Well, really, it's black eyeliner. You'll get your chapstick, because my lips are hella chapped, but if your lips aren't that hella chapped, then, you know, do with what you do with and tell me how your lips aren't hella chapped, especially during the winter when I'm filming this. So, yeah, put on your chapstick, because it's your chapstick delicious. Um, stupid. Uh, and then you'll get your black eyeliner. I know I'm disgusting. I use the same black eyeliner. I know, I'm gross. And you do that, and of course you can fix it with sponges. I'm talking really fast. I hope you guys got that. Black eyeliner, you'll see in the video very shortly. Yeah, I'm out of breath. And again! Roxy or Trickster Roxy makeup done. Like I said, um, there are some flaws in my makeup, and as well, contouring goes with your face structure. This is just very simple contouring, in my opinion, so I guess you can really go with any face structure. But of course, you can add your own. Makeup's makeup. I mean, wear it as you wear it. And um, yeah, hope you guys liked it. I love you all. Thank you for liking and, you know, commenting. Bye, babies. Bye bye. Uh -uh. We're gonna say those are good because I suck at eyeliner. Even though I wear like tons of it when I wear natural makeup. I'm a horrible person.